Today's story tells the all too frequent tale of a one and four year old who are left caught in the middle of a heated domestic dispute. Because of their ages, I did not fly them to LA, but instead sent a crew to film them back home. Meet Hammy and Bowie. <laughs> Two pot-bellied pigs. Now, most of us know that pigs make a lot of noise, right? Especially when they eat. But Anne Marie says that her pet pigs are nothing compared to the slurping, munching, crunching, chewing, jaw-cracking noises of her soon-to-be husband, Jimmy. Noises that he makes when he's eating. Just, just a few days ago, Jimmy called their engagement off. Says Anne Marie is a lunatic who just may be sensitive to sound, but needs to be far more sensitive to him before they go through with this marriage. Take a look. The sounds that my fiance makes drive me crazy. His jaw cracks and it makes a lot of noise. It doesn't matter what product I eat. Something as simple as a bagel. Sounds like he's chewing on rocks. It's grotesque. I don't know I'm disturbing you when my jaw cracks. I don't know when my jaw cracks. What you do now, when he eats, I get this immediate reaction of anger. It's not only the jaw clicking, it's the actual chewing. Like a pretzel or a potato chip. It makes her crazy. She starts screaming. You're a jerk. You're an ass The thoughts that come into my head, if I had an ice pick, I would put it right through his jaw. In the house, we don't eat dinner together. As soon as I see him start to eat, I go in the other room. We went to a hockey game the other night. Jimmy was having a soft pretzel. You can't hear anything at a hockey game, but just seeing the motion of his jaw, I had to turn the other way. Just last week, we went for brunch, and I had ordered a bagel. My jaw was cracking. The fork and the knife went down onto the plate, and she went straight up. <laughs> so cute when you eat with that nose. We have two potbelly pigs. This is Hammy, and then we have Bowie. When the piggies are eating, the sound doesn't bother me at all. I say, will you please stop eating like a pig? And it's funny because I wish he would eat like a pig. <laughs> Since we got engaged in December and moved in together, it's putting a wedge between us. Last night was a knockdown drag out between Jimmy and myself. I couldn't take it anymore, and I spent the night packing up my things and put them in my truck. He told me he wanted the ring back. I put the ring in the box, and I walked out the door. I can't marry into this. There's no way I can live like this. OK. I'm here to help you as a couple, right? Well, Over more here. so me with my neurological disorder. That's what misophonia, that's what I've read that it is. It's a neurological disorder. That's what Dr. Google told you. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, correct. And everything on the internet is true, so yes. Absolutely. Yes. I have to disagree. You're not here just for her. You're here for both of us. I'm right. the target. But mostly right. it's because we're here to, I need help getting this under control. You two refused to travel together coming here. Was it you that refused no, or Jimmy refused? No, it refused? was him. It was no. him that refused. You refused to travel with her. His I did. His uh, situation. After you saw the pigs. We had to have the pigs boarded. And we, after we dropped off the pigs, we went for lunch. I grabbed the after dinner mint. Uh, after lunch, I cracked it in my jaw in the car. And it, the explosion started. No, the explosion started because I was on the phone. And you know what my issue is, hon. You well, that's know. Not, let me, okay, that's you let not me exactly where it started. We went me... into the diner, and we, they seated us near where the busboy cleans plates. From the and he was throwing the plates in. That was the first disturbance. She had to have her table moved. Right, uh, because it was very loud. So we walked all the way to the back of the restaurant. We sat in a nice booth. It was quiet, and everything was fine. And then we started, you know, we ordered dinner, blah, blah, blah. And then he had to eat it. Yeah, he had to eat it. Okay, so. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> of all things, I hit the salad bar, and the salad bar crunches. What can I? So we just need to get you a feeding tube, and we're done. Thank you. Thank you. Right? 